In this video, we're taking a look at the eBags Professional Flight Laptop Backpack. More information over at packhacker.com, as well as the best buying options, link in the description below. So taking a look at this bag, let's just kick it off with the harness system on the back here. Um, the straps themselves feel pretty decent. Um, I have felt better straps, but there's some decently dense padding on the inside. Uh, there are some edges here that you will feel if this thing is really heavy and really loaded up, but it's not too bad um, in terms of size. So you're not gonna really be able to load this thing up too overly heavy. Two little D-rings here at the top. If you just wanna use like carabiners and stick some other accessories on, you can totally do that. And then an adjustable sternum strap too so that just slides. And I like these sternum straps because you can take them off if you want to get rid of them. But um, they're pretty permanently attached, so they're not just going to randomly fall off. Looks like we have some YKK buckles here. So love that. They just fasten really quite easily. And YKK is a good overall brand. Adjustable hardware down at the bottom here too. And that'll easily just come up and uh, tighten. These things at the bottom here, these were interesting with the mother load, that e-bags uh, bag. It was, you know, it's a little bit heavier and these kind of stuck into my back while I was testing it. Haven't really noticed it quite as much in this bag and it's kind of harder to get this heavy compared to the mother load. Two pretty dense mesh panels in the back here. Nice and squishy. There is some good airflow too. So this is great how they have this pulled together. Um, really nice airflow channels here. And these straps do just remove. So if you just kind of press these down, they'll remove, They rather they stow. So I'll do that for you real quick. Uh, push these down just here at the bottom and that will just be able to let you take this off. And then you can stuff these right on the inside. So we'll just kind of clean it up there for the rest of the video, stuff that down. And there you go. So there is space here at the bottom as well. And actually this is a luggage pass through here. So if you do want to just stick this, get my arm in there. If you do just want to stick this, um, you know, on your rolling luggage, you can do that and it will stay nicely in there. Um, I do like when bags, sometimes they'll do like another little cutout down here where you can stow this away, but not the case here no place to stow that away. So you're just gonna have this kind of little D-ring thing kind of floating around, which is totally fine, but just something we figured we'd bring up. Now, th this is retractable, which is interesting. So this is not hideable, but this handle is retractable. So they're thinking about that flatter profile when not in use, and you can pull it out and it will stretch a little bit while it's in use. So I like that touch that's on uh, this side. No handle on the other side. And then also um, with that luggage pass through, looks like it'll actually go this way as well. So just depends on how you wanna put your, uh, your bag on your roller luggage. You can do it either way. All right, handle at the top here, similar pull mechanism. And then let's just go on the sides here. So these kind of water bottle pockets that you unzip, some nice, uh, kind of soft mesh on the inside, orange interior, so it's very easy to see what's going on. That can unzip on each side. And again, this is just kind of a quick look video. I'm gonna tell you some stuff that I like and I don't like, but um, overall, we kind of test things for at least two weeks. And this one quite hasn't quite had that, so we don't have a full review on it. This is just kind of a tour. So mesh on this side, and then liner on the other side. Not very stretchy. Um, you know, but two different style pockets on each side, if you'd like. A little kind of small mini D-ring here at the bottom. Not entirely sure what that's for, honestly. Potentially a rain cover if you're if you're gonna put one of those on. Um, close these up on the side. A lot of pockets on this thing, so there's one up here as well in the front. Just kind of like put in whatever you want. I love the orange interior. It makes it really easy to see what's going on inside the bag. It kind of really turns the light on. So let's just close that up. This zipper it could definitely use a zipper pull. This gusset is pretty deep, um, but I think that's fine. Opening this up. Ton of organization on the interior here. So we've got like area. If you have like credit cards, I don't know, maybe you want to put credit cards on the inside, two of those 
um, that will kind of let you put them in there. You have a mesh pocket with a little bit of gusseting here, so this can kind of accommodate to be a little bit larger as it opens up. And then one at the bottom. This mesh is pretty soft. Um, this gray part is not actually a pocket here, so that's just some reinforcement stitching. This side you have two areas here for a pen pencil stylus, and those are nice and stretchy. Anything in there will kind of fit in quite nicely. Two opposing zippered pockets. So this one will go down all the way to the bottom. This one goes down also all the way to the bottom. And then you have an area in there, of course, for your keys. I like the way that this is. It's metal. It's a little bit you know, more robust than other key clips we see in other bags. A lot of times they'll just use that little plastic. Throw that down there. Zip, zip stretchy kind of mesh pocket. See, I wish they would have done this treatment on this side pocket here as well, but you got uh, just on the inside after when you got the orange interior liner material. So you can put something in there, maybe like a battery bank or something of that size, and then another mesh pocket here. This is just kind of a, uh, some of the, some extra stuff that came with it. Close that up, close it up, zip it shut. The top here, that opens right up. And there you go, just a nice little place for like quick dump items. So if you're going through security at the airport and you just want to stick in like your, you know, phone wallet keys, you can just pop that in there. Not a ton of space, but there's just enough, enough depth to have stuff in there as a little dump pocket. <laughs> that fabric there is so thin, it's just like, it's barely on there. And I think it's fine, but I, you know, I don't know why it comes down that much. Close that up. All right, can we get on to the main event now? I think we can. Let's look at this kind of front pocket. So that will zip down and give you a ton of space. Uh, there's another zipper here, so that will also open. And yeah, I mean, there is just a lot going on. So starting off with the back here, uh, you know, you could put your, your laptop in here. There is a bit of a false bottom, so the laptop is suspended by a little. I always like when it's maybe a little more than that, but there is a decent amount of space there. Slide your laptop in and out quite easily. Velcro there. And then you have these two kind of uh, spaces here too, just kind of a weird kind of diagonal thing. I like that there's a stay in here. It's easier to kind of maneuver this around. And then uh, two like little corner things here at the top. So I guess if you wanna like kind of lock something in, it can go there. Papers or documents or binders or things of that nature. And then this opens up. You can put your laptop in here, I suppose, if you'd like. Little pull tab at the top here. Nice ample space on the interior if you wanna put pouches or packing cubes or things of that nature. And then more pockets on the front. So ton of organization in this bag. Um, the thing that I saw before is I liked on the front here is that these zippers are actually opposite of one another. So they kind of, you know, it's very easy to tell them apart. Uh, these zippers go the same way, which I think is fine because they're a little bit further apart. Some gusseting here, so you have a little bit of dimensionality to these pockets. And then just another soft mesh pocket at the top. So plenty of room for internal organization. So there you have it, the eBags Professional Flight Laptop Backpack. Head over to packhacker.com for more information and the best buying options. Link in the description below. We'll see you in the next video.